this is Greg from SharePoint Maven and in today's video I would like to explain to you the difference between a SharePoint site and a SharePoint page. Now even though most users use these two terms interchangeably and sometimes I might reference a site as a page and a page as a site, uh, it's very very important to understand the difference between the two uh, because these are two different terms in SharePoint and even if you are just a regular team member, uh, not to mention a site owner, very, very important for you to understand the difference between a SharePoint site and a SharePoint page. Let's start with SharePoint sites first. Look, a site in SharePoint, think of it as a site in SharePoint as a workspace where you collaborate, where you uh, store information. Uh, what you see right now on the screen is an example of a SharePoint site. It has its own URL, and this happens to be, by the way, a communication site. This happens to be a, a, main, uh, a main landing site, uh, even though we could call it a page, I guess, as well. But this is the site. First and foremost, it's a site. It's a workspace where you have uh, some content, uh, links. And because this is a landing page, right, we have links. We have um, a calendar. We have all these different web parts, apps, news and announcement links, etc., etc. Um, let me show you a few other examples of SharePoint sites. This happens to be an HR employee site. It has a dedicated URL, so it's a different site. All right, it's a different site. And, um, of course, it has a, a different collection of uh, web parts and apps, and, of course, a different look and feel. Let me show you another example this is an HR team site. So the other site I showed you just now was the employee site, uh, the HR employee site. This happens to be the uh, HR internal, you know, the private HR site. And of course, right, and this is of course is an Office 365 group site, but it's a separate site altogether with its own URL uh, and a different mix of web parts again. All right, so think of a site as pretty much a workspace where you uh, organize some content. And content could be documents, it could be events, news and announcements, links, tasks, etc., etc. All right. Uh, think of a site, you know, as, a, as an office in your, as a, I'm sorry, as a room in your office, right? If I were to come into your office, you have different rooms, you know, each with different objectives, right? You have kitchenette, uh, you have conference rooms, you have different office rooms, each room has a different objective and maybe even security, different access. Same thing in SharePoint. A site is where we organize content. A site is also where we set security. All right. A site is where we set security uh, to, to that particular site. And the idea is that whoever has access to the site will, of course, has will have access to everything you have on the site. All right. Now, let's talk about pages. So a site is a workspace, and the workspace contains all these different elements, all these different web parts and apps. Um, as you can see here, I have an HR team site, I have a news web part, I have the calendar web part, a document library web part, links, etc., etc. Now, what if I want to present more information to my uh, to my team members, to my users. Well, of course, I could just keep piling up and adding additional web parts in here somewhere. But you know what? Nobody ever scrolls up and up and down, right? So in this case, what you can do is add an extra page. A page is just means to visualize content on a site. And let me just. Uh, you know, of course, I could be given a real name here, but that's not the point. Uh, and now, for example, let's say I want maybe to, um, I don't know, display a chart of some sort or some other web parts to my end users. All right. Now, a page is just means to visualize content on a site. By default, a site contains just one page. When you create a brand new site, whether it's a communication site or an Office 365 group site, you only get one page. However, you can have as many pages as you wish. So as you can see, I just created one. 
well, I guess I created it. I need to publish it. Here we go. And I created another page. All right, and it gets its own um, kind of URL address, but that page is part of that site. All right. And of course, I could add, you see, it offers me to make this, add this page to the navigation, which I can, but I'm not going to. Um, but the bottom line is, we now have we now have an extra page to visualize our content on the site. All right. Now, very, very important, uh, we set security in SharePoint at a site level. We do not set security at a page level. Yes, we can. Yes, we can set security at the page level. Uh, but this is not the best practice. Even if you set security at a given page, the user can still, through site contents, navigate to you know your content and can still potentially visualize it. So long story short, the idea is that in SharePoint, we set security at the site level, not at the page level. And again, by granting someone access to the site, the, you, you know, the assumption is that the user will have access to everything the site has to offer. All the web parts you have on the site, all the pages you have on the site as well. All right. So very, very important uh, to understand the difference between the two. So again, just to kind of recap, a site is a workspace where you organize information, a workspace where you can collaborate with your, uh, with your um, yeah, team members. A page is just means to visualize content uh, on your um, on your site, all right. And another example I usually use if you think of your smartphone, right? If you think of your smartphone, uh, whatever you have, iPhone or Android devices. If you think of your smartphone as a SharePoint site, then all the little apps that you purchase on your on your phone would be different web parts on SharePoint, right? And what do you do if you purchase lots of apps on your on your phone? There is no way, right? You can fit them on a little screen on your uh, on your on your phone. So what do you do? You scroll left and right, uh, right, uh, to, to get to them. So that would be the different pages in SharePoint, right? When you scroll left and right on your phone, um, you know different ways to visualize uh, content on your phone, if you will. The, the, that's what the pages are for in Share. The, the, this is what pages are for in SharePoint. Uh, this is uh, the pages allow you to visualize all the content you possibly have on your SharePoint site. All right, so hopefully um, hopefully that uh, little explanation makes it uh, clearer for you in terms of the difference between a site and a page. Very, again, very, very important for you to understand the, different, the difference between the, the two, especially if you are the site owner and mentioned security and all that. Um, at this point, I would like to thank you for your uh, attention and hopefully you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again on my YouTube channel, uh, as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.